welcome back to the layout. Just a quick update. Um, I am getting ready to take the layout to another exhibition um, at the Gartel Light Railway in Temple Coombe this weekend. So that's why there is no stock on the layout at the moment. Uh, no freight cars or any vehicles. Uh, they are all packed up. But I have done a few bits and pieces to the layout since the Model Row exhibition in Wincanton that I took the layout to in November. So I will just go through those bits now. Apologies for the terrible video quality, but one thing I have done is replaced the streetlights on the layout. Uh, I did have a bit of an accident with the layout at the Wincata Model Railway Show um, and I did end up breaking uh, one of the street lamps. Uh, the layout unfortunately fell off of its trestle and uh, did a bit of damage to the buildings uh, which I've subsequently repaired but did end up smashing one of the street lamps. The street lamps that were originally on the layout uh, were from eBay and they were quite cheap, um, took a risk with them. Uh, I have been lucky in the past uh, with the quality of the lights I've purchased on eBay. Um, unfortunately, wasn't quite so lucky with this set. Um, one of the lights originally was very dim compared to the rest of the lights, and I only ordered five, which was the quantity I required for the layout. So I had no spares. Uh, I contacted the seller, they sent me a pair of replacement uh, lamps, uh, which were fine. So I fitted those before the train show. Um, as I was preparing for the train show, uh, one of the lamps burnt out. Um, so that was the second replacement lamp that I had uh, that, that was used there. Um, and then when I inadvertently dropped the layout while setting it up for the train show, I broke another lamp with no spares. So what I have done is bit in the bullet and bought the Woodland Scenics wooden pole street lamps. Um, they're certainly not the cheapest street lamps out there. And they're from the Just Plug lighting system, which I've never used before. I don't like soldering. Um, I did solder all the LEDs um, on the pier terminal and I hated every minute of it. Um, but to do a building like that with just plug lights uh, would cost a small fortune. Um, again, those lights were off of eBay and have been quite lucky. Uh, no damages, they're all nice and bright. Um, as you can see, uh, they look really good. Um, down this end of the layout, I am using the just plug lights. Um, I put a couple of the nano LEDs um, on the fruit and veg distributor. Uh, just zoom in on that. I don't know how good it's going to come out on the phone. Uh, so the loading dock there has a couple of the Woodland Silix nano LEDs uh, just under the canopy there. And the lights... Uh, the street lights are the Woodland Scenics just plug lights as well. Let's see if I can get those in focus. Uh, not very well. Let's zoom back out. <laughs> so these are using the NCE Illuminator to power these. Um, the power system for the just plug lights uh, is really expensive. Uh, I don't think it's really needed. Um, the taxi, the city cab company, the taxi building, that is illuminated with just um, conventional LEDs uh, using an NCE light it decoder, which was one I had spare from the previous layout. I like the functionality, so I thought I'd have a go with the illuminator. And uh, I've gotten really well with it. Um, I did need a port sharing device as well because um you only end up with three uh plugs on the illuminator
I do have a little bit more lighting to do on the layout. I have pre-installed on the factory building a couple of swan neck lamps. Uh, these are also Woodland Scenics Just Plug. And I have a billboard to go on the roof of the building next door. So to uh, power those, I won't be using the Just Plug system. I will be using an NCE illuminator. Uh, these have free plugs um, on them, free outputs, and what I quite like about them is the circuit board has screw terminals for a power feed. So this is the illuminator out of the packet. Uh, you can power it from either end with some screw terminals from your DCC power bus. Uh, on the unit there is a surface mount LED, so if you were to mount this in a building um, the first function would also illuminate the LED, so you don't need to necessarily wire so many uh, LEDs if you're just lighting one building. Uh, there is a programming button, and then if you're using 12 volt DC rather than DCC, uh, there is a potentiometer there uh, to adjust the brightness. Uh, so it's uh, just a slightly scaled up version of the NCE Light It. Uh, but with screw terminals for powering rather than solder and you have the free just plug plugs uh, or sockets I should say um, to wire up the lights. Also in the packet uh, you do get free wires uh, wired with a just plug plug uh, with bare ends. If you are using your own LEDs on one of these uh, you will need to uh, put in some resistors. Uh, the just plug lights, I think, have resistors built into them. If you were to power these straight off of the, uh, if power LEDs straight off the board, I think they'll be 12 volts, not the 3 volts. So you will probably burn them out straight away. But they include free in the packet. Um, I'm not going to be using them, but uh, a nice thing to have. So this will probably be the last of the lighting that I do on the layout, uh, at least for the time being. So the billboard, which is illuminated, is installed on top of the building. And I've done the wall mounted lights on the factory. So I'll just turn the layout lighting off a second. Not really sure how well the phone's going to cope in the dark uh, at this low level light. Uh, that is all the lighting on the layout now. The pier terminal. The outside lights on the factory. Uh, this factory building. I may illuminate the office and the downstairs. I'm, I do have a spare plug now on that illuminator, so I could do something along those lines. And the rest of the street lighting down the layout and downtown taxi company. And the other lighting I did was on the loading dock on the grocery distributor. It was quite in shadow, so it's quite nice just to have a bit of light there on the loading dock so they can see what they're doing. And one of the other small detail jobs I've been doing is putting additional figures and wildlife around the layout. So in the corner of the uh, pier, I've got some ducks and a swan. So there's a couple standing, uh, one on top of the pier piling and one on the steps. And then there's some swimming ducks. And uh, there were some swans in the pack as well. I uh, didn't really want to fill it with swans, so I just put, uh, put one there. The pier terminal now also has some additional people working on it. Um, this is part of the factory workers set of people. 
the other half of the factory workers pack is down this far end of the layout, uh, just outside this other industrial building. And the only other thing I did uh, was fabricate some doors. Um, this building did have just open doorways. Uh, when I built it from the design preservation models kit, um, wasn't really thinking about what I was doing when I was putting it together. Uh, these are, of course, railroad freight doors. So the doors that were in the kit um, don't fit that because that is a uh, a railway size opening. So I had previously just left these open. So with a bit of a uh, bit of styrene uh, plastic card, I have now fabricated some doors. Um, obviously, the doors on the left are closed and the doors on the right are open. So just thought I would put some workers milling around out there. Uh, like I say, apologies for no road vehicles. They have all been packaged, uh, boxed up, ready for the exhibition this weekend. But hopefully I will get some footage of the layout at the show with some trains running. Black 